Uh, thanks to a viewer, I have another way of doing something I previously showed you, which there's always more than one way of doing things when it comes to programming. So let's have a look at this. Um, so I showed you in the uh, previous tutorial to time how long a program runs for. You can type time and then run the command. In this case, we'll use sleep and we'll say two and we'll sleep for two seconds. And then we get this output and it says that it ran for uh, two seconds, 2.002 .002 seconds to be exact. Um, other viewers have asked me what the uh, user and sys uh, lines are there, and I'm sure it says in the man file, but I have not checked it yet. Uh, the real time is what we're looking at here. So that gives us a pretty precise time on, uh, on that. Now, if you're writing a script and you want to time how long it takes your entire script to run, uh, you can either run your script by typing time and then whatever the name of your file is, you know, my script or whatever, and, um, and it will time how long the script runs. But if you want to have it built into the script, a viewer commented on the previous video on a way to do that. It breaks it down, rounds it to the nearest second rather than giving, uh, you know, seconds to the uh, third decimal point there. But um, let's come here to my temp folder. I'll make a new directory and I'll call it. Um, script time and I'll go into that just to have a script uh, folder that I'm going to be working in and then I'll start creating a script here we'll call it my script.py sorry sh and we'll start off with our shebang this is nothing new uh, bin bash because this is a bash file and I'll just put sleep two seconds sleep two seconds and then we'll say echo dollar sign seconds. We'll save that. We'll change the uh, the mode of that to make it executable. So change mod plus x in the name of our script. And then dot slash the name of our script. We'll hit enter and it will sleep twice for two seconds and then give us the output of four. And that is how many seconds it took our script to run. Uh, so let's go back into here and we can change this up. We can say uh, script has run for, remember this is all capitals, dollar sign seconds, and we'll say seconds here. So that's one point. Let's put a, another sleep command for one second here and another one for uh, one second again, just to show you that we're running, just pretend that we're running different commands there. And we will once again echo total time of script dollar sign seconds seconds. Okay, we'll save that. Don't have to make it executable again because we've already done that once. So dot slash the name of our script. It will sleep for two seconds, sleep for two seconds, output. The script has run for four seconds, sleep for one second, sleep for one second total time of script running six seconds. So if you don't need the uh, decimal point of the seconds, the fractions of seconds, and you just need the round number of uh, approximately how long it's run in seconds, this uh, uh, system variable of seconds uh, will do that for you. So that's another way of doing something we've done in the past. It's a little bit different. It's easier to embed it into a script rather than running time with a script. In fact, let's run that script in time. So we'll say time the name of our script, we'll hit enter, and we'll get our script has run for four seconds. Total time the script has run for six seconds, but then our time command tells us that it's actually run for six seconds, 6.017 seconds. So once again, uh, part of that is because the sleep command is not 100% accurate, uh, and also you have to take in the fractions of a second that it takes for it to echo out these two lines. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching. And that is the seconds system variable. And uh, I wish I had the viewer's name who commented on that. But if you look at the past video, he commented and you can see his username. Very thankful for that. And if you get a chance, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's links in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.